Measuring package materials and samples are usually done with two of our standards, 1111 and 1112. One is surface resistance and the other is volume resistance. I want to demonstrate how we're going to do that. First of all, you need a concentric ring probe. This is a concentric ring probe. You see there's two concentric rings here. The inner disc is 30 and a half millimeters in diameter. The outer ring is 57.1.2 millimeters around the outer ring with a width of 3.2 millimeters. The total weight is 2.27 kilograms. So once the probe is constructed, we have to make sure that it's working. Now with a high resistance reading, some meters take time in order to make that resistance be called electrification time. So what we have is a way to determine it. This meter will figure out its own electrification time, but if you have a meter that doesn't, I have a concentric ring fixture. That's almost one tera ohm, which is about the high end of what we want to measure. So we put the concentric ring in the fixture, and we start the test. And as you can see, it took a while for it to ramp up, and right now it's figuring out when it's stable. The best that this measurement makes is about a half order of magnitude, so even though this is 0.96 terohms, or almost 1 times 10 to the 12th, we're well within the measurement range, and it took 15 seconds to stabilize. So that's our electrification time. If you do it many times, you come down to it. It would take 15 seconds at the high end to make this measurement. Now the next measurement we want to make is with the support surface. We want to make sure that the support surface with the concentric ring that we're using for surface doesn't add any error. And here, since our top of our scale is 10 to the 11th, we want to make sure we can measure above that, which is sometimes very difficult to do. And you can see with our support surface, we're measuring 10 to the 12th. So we're good to make these measurements, and we know that they'll be accurate if they're going to be less than that. The next two measurements are fairly simple. We're going to take, I have a sample. It should be just a flat sample to make this measurement, but in this case, this measurement we're going to make using some actual packaging material, and it's very thin. So in order to make the surface, simply put it down on our support surface, put the concentric ring here, and we make the measurement. And this is actually in the conductive range. It's 1.7 times 10 to the fifth ohms. This is a measurement in resistance only not ohms per square, which some people report. In this configuration, if we wanted to report ohms per square, we would multiply this by 10, so it would really be 10 to the sixth. Now to make a volume resistance, now we will make, we want to connect just the center disk to a counter electrode, which is simply metal. Again, we put our sample back on here. Now we're measuring from the center disc through the material and back through counter electrode here. Energize meter. And now that's our volume resistance. So that's how you make a volume resistance and a surface resistance of packaging materials.